So around the side of the house today for a slightly different location for a video because we have got rats. So I went into the loft the other day and saw some kind of rodent droppings or some kind of animal droppings. Uh, and I thought, oh, that's not very good. There must be some kind of things up here. And then I looked around the edge of the loft and there were like a mental amount of rodent droppings, an insane amount. Uh, so we had to investigate this. Uh, it turns out we got rats. Now, I'm all for living in harmony with wildlife and animals, but rats can chew through your electricity and burn the house down. So the rats have got to die. Now a local rat assassin called Clive has come round to deal with the rats directly. But my job is to stop the rats from getting in. They're apparently, he believes, climbing up this kind of tree thing that we've got around the side of the house and using that to get into the loft through the sort of, I don't know what you call it, the bit where the guttering, the bit underneath the roof. I don't know, eaves? Is that an eave? I don't know what an eave is. Put it in the comments if you know, it doesn't matter. Let's get on with it. Now this tree, bush, plant type thing that we need to cut back has lots of bits going up from the ground rather than just one central trunk type thing. So there's a lot of stuff to cut through. So I've been onto the internet and um, got this. It's an electric saw and I'm going to use it to saw things down. Uh, I got it from a website called Amazon. I don't know if you've heard of it. I'll put a link down below if you haven't. It's, it's, it's like a shop but you it's, it's on the internet, so they deliver the things to your house. Very useful at this time when you can't go out. So if you've never heard of it, uh, give Amazon uh, uh, a look because um, it's, it's, it's quite useful, really, really impressive. Um, so we're going to go open this up and we're going to start sawing. So here's the saw. Uh, all you have to do when you buy it is just fit this blade. It comes with three different blades and I picked this one. It's about £50. And then I'm just going to plug it into an extension lead. I'm going to try and savage some stuff. Yeah! Right, I'm going to start with this branch here. How's that, rats? Let's see you get in the loft now. It's already made a big difference. I don't think this is going to take long at all to do. I'm really glad I bought this. It wasn't that much different cost-wise buying um, this, this is like 50 quid and a decent pruning saw seemed to be about 20 quid if it wasn't mechanical. So this, good investment I think. So there's not many branches up there now, seem to have got rid of most of them, but there's a couple left just to finish off so that we can be sure that rats can't get into the loft, that the loft is a safe space uh, for Clive to carry out his rat murder. I'll just say there's every possibility that I'm not following soaring health and safety rules because I don't really know what they are. So Google it before you attack a tree. So there we go, uh, the branches aren't touching the roof anymore, so rats haven't got away in and out, assuming that is the way they are getting in and out. Uh, I've got loads of branches now, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use the saw, because I'm really enjoying the saw, to chop up the larger bits into sort of kindling, because we want to get an open fire in our house in the next year or so. So if I start doing that now, then it will season nicely by the time we've got a fire fitted. There we go, that's all I can be bothered to do at the minute. We've got a little pile of kindling that we can leave around the side this season. We're going to chuck these bits to the back of the garden. Out of sight, out of mind. Quick wormery update, the worms are living outside at the minute. Uh, there was an incident with fruit flies, so I get a few flies appearing on that. And the deal I had with the worms is a very simple one. We will live in harmony if you don't smell and you don't cause problems. So they're outside for a bit, if the fruit flies go away, they can come back inside. But for now, the worms are over there. 
Now Wormery's been outside for a couple of weeks now, so I'm going to check and see if there are still fruit flies and whether or not they can, uh, they can start to reintroduce adding food to the worms. So let's see what's going on. Yeah, still a few fruit flies, but it doesn't smell amazing if I'm honest, so the worms are staying outside for the minute. So a bit of garden update here. Tomatillo plants have just started to flower here, a new crop this year, so my dream of having Mexican salsas with regular meals, particularly on Taco Tuesday, uh, are hopefully going to come to fruition. That's very exciting. Tomato plants are a bit of a mixed bag at the minute, if I'm totally honest, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, the potatoes, first earlies, we should be able to harvest this week, so accept some uh, pretty decent potato content coming your way soon. The raised beds are all looking pretty decent to be honest. The lettuces we've been eating, get off there Ant. Um, so we need to eat those soon because they don't have that long a uh, shelf life. Carrots coming through nicely. These peas need supporting. I'll sort that out in the next couple of days. Beetroot looking good. I'm not sure what's going on with the leaves. Uh, and parsley as well has come along nicely because I get through a lot of parsley uh, in various stews and things like that. So yeah, pretty pleased with the garden so far. Hello Peter. Hello, how are you? Is that two metres, do you think? Yeah, it's about two, that's about, that's about two metres, I think. How are you? Yeah, all right, thank you. Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, I just thought I'd just film you because I was excited to see you. Oh, that's lovely. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Do you want to come into the garden? Am I allowed? Yeah, you're allowed in gardens now. Oh, cool. All right, come on. How's lockdown been for you, Pete? Not bad, mate. Uh, struggled first couple of weeks and now I've got used to it. Could bought myself a bike. Have you? Yeah, quite a good one as well. Have you? What like is it one that you have to clip into, or is it? No, no, I don't. I never, I've never really understood that clipping in thing because if you stop and you can't unclip, you're going to fall off the bike. And yeah, I, people manage it, don't they? People do manage it, but I'm a bit dopey, so I thought I'm not doing that because I'll fall off, and I don't, I don't, I don't see the benefit either. What's the point? What's the point of getting clipped in? I can't ride a bike. I know, but you've got one of those pelotons, haven't you? Yeah. And you've lost loads of weight, so it's doing you doing you quite a lot of favours. Thanks, mate. Do you like my potatoes and tomatoes? I was going to say, do you know what my favourite uh, band is? What? Ace of Spades. <laughs> so we had rats. Rats? Um, and a man came round to poison them. Uh, and I did some work. In the end, one rat died. Yeah. Um, and the others had fled there because of... I'd cut off their supply route by chopping down some branches, so that's good, isn't it? Okay, how many rats do you reckon you had? Well, I don't know. Roughly? Quite a lot, Well, or one that's got diarrhoea, because there was a lot of rat poo up there. Mm. Did you have to pick the rat up and put it in the bin? A man did it. Mm. Talk me through this, what's all this then? So these, these here are um, tomatoes. This one in the middle is a tomatillo, it's like a Mexican tomato, that one. Are those the little... Little things there, they're tomatoes. Yeah, they're, that's going to be tomatoes. The flowers become tomatoes. That's the, that becomes the flower bit becomes the bit at the bottom of the tomato. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's really cool. interesting. Thank you, mate. What else? They're not all tomatoes. No, surely. the big ones are tomatoes and that, and these are, these are potatoes. I'll give you a potato to take home if you want. Yes, please. Do you know what you have to do, Pete? I want you to go and into that plant there. Yeah. And I want you to dig with your hands. No, don't dig your spade, mate. You'll break it. Dig with your hands until you get a potato. It's like a lucky dip. Dig with my hands. I don't want to do that. I don't want to ruin it. You just dig it. Dig a potato, mate. It's not many. I'll go in here. Just go in there into the mud until you find a potato and you can have it. This is not a wind up, is it? No. Ah, mate, that's diarrhea. <laughs> that's the cat, isn't it? Yeah, no. No rat. Yeah. Just find one potato, mate. But there is no potato. Go a deeper. Are you winding me up? No, hey, mate. Well, those hopefully potatoes, mate, because I've grown potatoes. Oh, and, oh my God. You got one? Yeah. That, Peter, is the first potato of the potato growing season, and you've picked it. You have that for your dinner. Can I eat it now? No, no, no. it'll make you sick. No. You'll cook it. How many potatoes in that pot? I reckon probably about right. 20 or 30. And how big will that get? 
That's that's it, really. They're they're like early. They're first early, so they're like salad potatoes. That's it. Yeah. What that massive plant? Yeah, but there'll be lo- no. There'll be loads of them in that pot. Imagine that. Imagine that as a jacket potato. <laughs> Just like cut it open, bit of tuna mayo in. Yeah, a little bit, one bean on top. <laughs> so sorry it's been a little while since the last video. I've thought I'd get loads done in lockdown, but homeschooling takes up quite a lot of the time, so I've not really been able to, to do as much filming and editing as I hoped I might. One thing I have been in, though, is a uh, YouTuber calendar. Have a look at this. <laughs> So that's the YouTuber calendar that the amazing Zach and Jay have pulled together and got many of my favourite YouTubers like Bambino Becky, Chi with a C, Jack Mate, Stephen Tries, Kieran Carlin and others. Elbat, she's great. Um, so lots of good people like that in it. It's for charity, raising money for Action Aid and the Black Curriculum. I'll put the details down below in the description so maybe you can go and buy one and use the code NOX to make me look good. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, sorry this had one rat murdered in the video. Don't really like killing things, but I don't like the house burning down either, so never mind. <laughs>